again, I'm trying to make the audience understand um, we can't talk about everything he has done. We'll be here for four days and we can't uh, do that. He's already given us more than enough. But I'm trying to just sort of paint them. I'm trying to remove what I know about you and give them so that they can be like, yo, okay, I give this guy props. I'm trying to get them to give to give you props in case somebody's hearing you for the first time. I don't need props. No, I not props, but honor. I think honor is important. Props is the new slang for that. Your contribution into this music industry. You then went back to TV where I think you recorded 40 songs with Charles Riga, again your wife, and Noel Derito for the Glee, the vaj- the Glee version, uh, the Kenyan version of Glee, which was called? Groove Theory. Oh yes, Groove Theory, uh, thank God you answered. 40 songs, one month, and this is where I got to interact with Mr. Gideon Kimanzi, fastest gun in the West in terms of producers. <laughs> he, he, he's, he's brilliant and his speed is phenomenal. This November, oh, hey, oh, this is who we are. I'll make sure you never sing anywhere. Zuku Africa brings you the first show of its kind. With a dream crazy enough to pull you through. We finally have something that is ours. You just never understand no matter what I do. Groove Theory. Coming soon, exclusively on Zuku Africa, Channel 100. How is that going back into TV? And what the different dynamics of that? Because now you are, you are recording songs for a TV show. This is not recording songs for a TV radio play or anything. Um, Patricia Kihoro was on that. Mugambi Thin. I mean, there were a bunch of people. Yes, yes, yes. Um, again, new thing, new learning experience. So, um... It was it was interesting because some writers because there were different writers your face was one of them um, Mugambi was one of them um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tina Nduba Tina yes um, so all of them they write differently and some would write and have the song some would write script then not have the song then Kanji would have to write the song then some would it was a mix of was Rick also on this writing? Yes, um, some, some, yes, 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 he was. Because uh, there's also those season one and those season two for this. I forget. <laughs> yes. Um, but the experience for writing, what, what, is this something that you still want to do? Is it? It was, it was, was it? I don't know. Um, it was fun, it was intense. Because all these things, then Atakikana, Tunagoja. Script writers, script you up, you can't write this next song because every episode has to have three songs. Um, a flipped song, we'll take a song that, okay, this was season two. I can't remember it more because it was a flipped song, a song that was then, we flipped it, um, a cover, mm-hmm. and two originals. Um, Kitukayo, yes. So, uh, episode na tuna episode e. For this person who wrote episode eight, they have but uyo episode five kidogo that from because they are finalizing something for continuity. Mm-hmm. What 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 style? It can't be the same style. It has to be as diverse as 
it was quite a stretching but and you're not writing a four minute song yes so you have to communicate what you need to communicate in like two minutes tops um it was fun because the team was fun any project is as good as the team okay um so there are times when it would be guy guy what is this but it worked out looking back it was fun uh would i do it i think i would do it again um i would i would it given the right team okay. because they make it they bring everything yes so that one of the so everyone is doing the part you're not carrying someone else's it's it's fun it's fun that way okay when last two last questions